Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to take control of your Windows 10 security. Uh, Windows Defender is part of Windows 10 and it's built into Windows 10 and if you want to get easier control of Windows Defender then this video is for you. So if you look at the settings pane here and go into update and security and when we click on Windows security here you'll see a bunch of features here which is designed for Windows Defender. And you have to do a lot of clicking and sometimes you have to try and find some of the settings that you want to change. Now this is where this little handy program comes in. It's pretty decent. It's called Configure Defender and it's an open source script that you can use which allows you to take full control of Windows Defender. Now this is going to be great for administrators or people that just want to quickly get their settings all under one hood where they can just quickly make those changes and then get on with another project. And this is what I like about this little uh, configure tool here. So let's extract it to our desktop here. I'm just going to extract it here. And this is the folder. So we're going to undo this uh, folder here. So we're going to have a look. And there's another little zip file inside here, which is called configure defender. And again, uh, I'm just going to quickly unzip this as well. So let me just quickly unzip this and we can now grab these and drag them onto our desktop. Now, of course, these are completely portable, which means you get uh, access to them wherever you like, which makes it nice and useful. So let me just quickly open the readme file and we can take a look at it here. And of course, as you would expect, it comes with no warranty and you have to use this sort of software at your own risk. And again, uh, it's just a little configure tool that allows you to configure all of Windows Defender in one place. You don't need to use this to actually configure Windows Defender, but this just makes it so much easier. So let's take a look at it and get it open. This is it right here. Very simple and easy to use uh, graphic user interface. So you've got info about Defender. You've got Defender security log, which we'll take a look at in a second. We've got high, max, and default. You can click on these and it will just automatically put the settings to maximum or high or default. Got these little drop down arrows here, which allow you to enable stuff and change the settings all inside this little program. So it makes things really easy. So you see pub protection on and uh, cloud protection level default. You can change this if you like. You can che check the uh, cloud time limit and uh, basically change that there. So these ones can be changed from user to warn, block and uh, disable as well if you want to. And again, exploit guard. This is your exploit guard settings. It's in categories here. You can manage all of this by making changes to the drop down. As you can see here, block executables content from email client and webmail. You can toggle that on. And again, block office applications from creating uh, child processes and a bunch of other stuff. You can go through all this at your own leisure and you can toggle this on or off by just using the little drop down boxes here. Very simple and easy to do. You can put it to audit, disable or on, whatever you feel like putting it to. Now just be very careful. Have a good read of all the instructions here. You can see here, use advanced ransomware uh, protection there. So if you wanted to change the configuration of that as well you can do and there's a bunch of other stuff here network protection controlled folder access you can add in your folders here by just clicking on add folder and this will allow you to add in a folder of your choice for instance let's go to documents and just add the documents directory inside there now if you want to remove uh, something you just click on the remove highlight it and click remove and it will remove that selection right there now you can do all this inside windows 10 already but i just find this is so much more useful than going into windows and trying to hunt down and find those locations just makes it very very simple and quick and easy so let's just take a quick look back up the top here just want to go up to the top and have a look at the max settings as you can see here, this is high settings. You can set those up. You can do max if you want to by clicking on the max button here and it will give you a prompt box here and you can read all that information here. And if you want to put it all back to default settings, you can do by just clicking on the default settings and this will put everything back to default settings if you want to do that. So it has got some sort of features which are going to be useful for people that just like to tinker a little bit more. 
Now also another feature which I found quite useful is the log settings here. So you can have a look at the logs for any sort of uh, malicious files that have been trying to get on your system. It will give you a full log readout and you can read that information really quick and easy. And this is going to be great for technicians that are trying to uh, find out what sort of infections were on that computer. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. That is the Configure Defender. And uh, if you want to be able to use it or download it, I'll leave the link in the video description. Pretty nice little application. Great for technicians and administrators, I think, to configure things really quickly. So I hope this one's been useful to you. That's how you can take uh, full control of Windows Defender and Windows 10 security by using Configure Defender. My name has been Brian from brighttechcomputers.co.uk. Just a quick video today, guys. I shall see you again real soon. Thanks again. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.